Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Quickie. As always, I'm Robo, and today we're going to talk about some new Marvel Legends. And I don't know what's wrong with my eyes. It's crazy. But Hasbro is doing something a little different this year. They're doing a Google Hangout with some of the news sites, us included. Yay! But before that, they sent out the pretty pictures of some new product. I don't know why they're doing this this short a time before San Diego Comic-Con, where there should be a lot of reveals, but I'm not going to complain because... I'm always down for new pictures, new Marvel Legends, new action figures for me to buy. I'm actually recording this before the Google Hangout, so there's probably going to be more information coming, but I have a schedule. You know, I shoot during this time of the day, I upload for about 16 hours because of my molasses internet connection, and then put it up at night. So if there's any more pictures or information that's going to be debuted at this Hangout we're going to have in a few hours, I will put that up tomorrow during the weekly. And then by the time this posts, all these pictures will be up on the Foosh front page if you want to see them bigger on your screen. Now first of all, let's go through some of the stuff we already knew. There's going to be a Thor wave. And we've seen the Jane Foster Thor in the promotional images for the San Diego Comic Con Thor set. Maybe a slight color change to the costume, or that's the difference between prototype and production. I don't know, but the biggest difference is her hammer. In the San Diego set, it looks like it's lit up, it's kind of translucent, it's powered up, it looks kind of cool. In the regular wave version, the hammer is just a hammer. No glow to it, nothing like that. Also being reused from the Comic-Con set is Odin's son, or Unworthy Thor. This uses most of the same tooling, same weapon, different head. The Comic-Con set has a bearded head, this is clean shaven. Also the big difference is there's a shirt painted on the wave figure. I'm sure it's accurate, but my first thought when I looked at it, to having not read a lot of modern comics, is why does Thor have a boob window? Looking all hot and stuff. Get down with your bad self, Thor. But the surprise, at least for me, is Ares. Now this looks to use the exact same sculpt as the Build-A-Figure from way back. What some of us may refer to as the Dark Ages of Marvel Legends. But it does sport an updated paint job. If you remember back to the original Ares, the skull and stuff looked a little bit cartoony on here. The color's a little bit drab, not a lot of paint used to it. Here, it seems like his eyes are glowing. It's a much more realistic skull on the chest. There's some weathering here and there. And even though I do have this, <laughs> I talk about the Dark Ages, but I still bought them. I have this, but I'm okay with this re-releasing because this is a hard to get figure. A lot of people are hunting it. A lot of people are tracking it down, paying way too much on the aftermarket. So cool to see this released again for those of you looking for it. But then we get into a lot of other stuff we already know, and that was most of the Marvel Knights wave. Now we saw the Netflix figures. Jessica Jones was shown at last year's San Diego Comic-Con. It looks great. We have kind of an idea of how this figure is going to turn out because of the Mary Jane that just came out in a two-pack with Spider-Man. That kind of reuses some of the parts, at least from about mid-torso to knee. So that's a good idea of size and a good idea of how the articulation, at least in some areas, is going to work. Plus, it looks good. The only bad thing about it is she doesn't come with a lot of accessories. But given the rest of this wave, the budget just didn't call for it, I guess. Also shown at last year's San Diego is the Punisher from Netflix Daredevil. I absolutely love this figure. I, I love the portrayal of Frank in the show. I love the look of it. I, I, everything about it. It just hits me in the right spots. Punisher comes with a machine gun. He comes with a pistol. And he comes with Bad attitude. Flip forward and at Toy Fair, Electra was shown and seeing pretty pictures of her makes me a little bit more excited about her. It's not my number one choice I would have picked from any of the Netflix series, but she works. Daredevil needs his, you know, on, off again, enemy, bad guy, girlfriend, whatever. She comes with an alternate head and a pair of side. Again, pretty cool, but may hold a lot of pistachio. Has that pistachio factor may have a lot of customizing potential, that's what I'm trying to say. And then Daredevil himself, we saw this at Toy Fair, again, pretty pictures. I love the armored look here, I, I, I still want the first black costume where he's just wearing the, you know, on top of his head, but this works too. I just jump right into it, I'm good with that. He comes with an extra pair of fists, when he's not getting his own ass kicked, he can do a little ass kicking, and then he comes with two billy clubs. And then the new reveals for this wave, which had been hinting around that this rumor has been going around for a while the rest of the figures in this wave and that is Blade 
who is sporting a new body. I'm glad they didn't go with that trench coat body that was originally shown. I was afraid <laughs> they were going to use that other body for Blade. So, yeah, happy with this. He comes with two heads. I, this is the modern look, I guess. He's got kind of a shaved look with some hair, and then a head with more hair. So, that neck. I love the wooden stakes on his bandolier, and then he comes with a sword, and the sheath is on the back. So, yeah. Mm, it, they made me want a blade. I wasn't really needing it, but yeah, I want it. And then Bullseye. This is ooh, this is the one I needed. I, yeah, I made a custom of this a while back, but I will happily replace it with this version. Now, doing some comparisons with the picture and what I have on the shelf, this looks to use the Sunfire Spider-Man 2099 body, the 2099 with the white and the red, not the you know the old school one. The biggest giveaway is the little indentation on his chest between his pecs that matches up perfectly with the Sunfire figure, but that's perfectly fine with me. That makes it a little bit different between the Daredevil we already have and the new Bullseye. Now he comes with two heads, one masked. I love the smile on this thing; just looks maniacal, looks crazy. And then he has an unmasked head that's screaming and it has the scar on his head. And I'm wondering if this will fit on the old Hawkeye body. Hmm, maybe something there. He also comes with a left hand that's splayed out like he's throwing knives. It has a clear effect on it and then several knives coming out of it. That's so, so perfect. I love that. He also comes with a couple of other alternate left hands. He comes with a grip hand that holds either the gun or the knife that comes loose in the package. And then he has a pointing finger. And here's where I'm gonna get a little bit cocky because my avatar on the Foosh forums for years, the majority of years, has been this cover art of Bullseye kind of in the dark, smiling with a pointing finger. And given the head that comes with this action figure and the pointing finger, you're welcome. <laughs> Acting cocky just uh, makes me feel terrible. But really, you're welcome. And then if you haven't guessed yet, the Build-A-Figure for the Wave is Man-Thing. You've seen him in all the pictures of the carded, so yeah, you knew this was coming. Great sculpt here. I hate to say it, but I foddered the original Man-Thing a long, long, long time ago. What seems like a lifetime ago. So I'm good with getting another Man-Thing. I love the sculpt of the vine grass, just swamp, Ooh, don't say swamp. Just everything just mushy looking organic. It looks very organic. But I can't, oh, come on Oz, don't be mean to daddy. But I look at this and I look at the shape of the body and I look at the size. If you go back to the Jessica Jones box, you can see just how big the arm is compared to Jessica. Looking at it all together and taking away kind of the man thing parts, that sounds weird. Nobody wants their man thing parts taken away. You can see a Sasquatch under there. And I, I hate to speculate. I'm not even going to say, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get my hopes up. But that body shape, that size, that everything about it, take off the grass, take off the vines. Yeah, that makes me want a Sasquatch and some more alpha fly. So like I said at the first, there's probably more information that's going to come up in the hangout that's about to happen, but i got to record these things when I have, you know, the chance, or they don't get done at all, and that makes me sad. Again, if you're wanting to see any of these pictures larger, whose front page, I'll have those up as soon as the hangout is over, which will be before I post this video. <laughs> and then of course I'll probably ramble on more about it tomorrow in the weekly, although there is a lot of toy news, so... It's that time of the year. So if you like this Foosh Quickie, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the Foosh.